thought that was very, uh, there were parts of it that were very sexual, but it was, you know, a sweet love story. And yeah. this is a complete contrast. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I also feel at this point in my career, I feel I'm ready to explore the dark side of characters, of people. Yeah. So, does it have to really do with, um, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think Jitesh always says, even when I should do, even when I used to hand in an interview like yours, you know, which would be all joy and sweetness and light, he would be like, you're such a dark writer. And I'd be like, why do you keep saying I'm a dark writer? You know, but for some reason he thinks I'm a very dark writer and I'm drawn to dark things. So I'm not surprised that I'm drawn to dark things in that sense. Um, also, I think if you if you are a fantasy reader um, and you are a fan of, say, Neil Gaiman, uh, you, yeah, dark things come very naturally to you in your writing. It's not drawn to me, right? <laughs> your sweetness and light, it's okay. okay. I love you, but I'm not drawn to you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank God. Thank God, thank God. Um, I'm, I've really asked you all that I wanted to ask you. Uh, if there's... Uh, so, so Kagya, you're also into movies, right? I hope so. Yes, you are. Yeah. Uh, any ideas about taking this book into the movie land? Um, <laughs> I think she should. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you play? I. She'd make a great Hera. I'd. I'd love to be Hera. I know. I know. Hera. Deep down, she wants to get into the crone disguise and actually play her <laughs> because that's the maybe Vidya. I can do both. Yeah, maybe you can do. All no, but genuinely, even I thought of Hera. I think it's she'd make a great Hera. Such a fascinating character. I know I'm saying that about every character actually now, but I I love Hera. I love her darkness. Um, the black pearl eyes, yes. But to answer uh, Ruchika's question, yeah, sure. Or the jewel blue eyes. The jewel blue eyes is dark. Yeah, but who? That's who would play him? Yeah, I don't know. You tell me. I am, I'm not like... Going by the colour of the eyes, it would have to be Hrithik Roshan. Yeah, why not? Hrithik would actually make a great Tara. Okay. Yeah, so he's yeah. just waiting to... He's waiting right outside. <laughs> no, no, but I do think you should... Um, you know, you should make this into a film. Yeah, so now she's said it, maybe it'll happen. Who knows? Of course, every, every writer... I mean, they do have a visual idea of what their book will look like. Who knows? Uh, I have a Elizabeth? question. Yes. Yes. Go for it. Go for it. Um, well, it's a part request, part question. Can Can you guys read out uh, the the sun, moon, and stars thing? Sounded fabulous. Can you read wow. from that, if possible? Sure. Um, and I have a question for Sukanya as well. Um, writers are very possessive about the things they write. How did it feel to? Because you've held editorial positions. So how did it feel to be? <laughs> asked to trim things down and change this and change that. I think if you really mean to get your book published and not just write things in a secret blog, um, you have to allow rewrites. Rewrites are what make your book. Edits are what make your book. Your first draft is, I don't know, did Hemingway say it? I'm not sure. Your first draft is shit, okay? It's just your no, brain vomit, to be honest. And everything else, please listen to your editor if anybody else is going to publish a book here. Listen to your editor. They mean well for your book. They love your book as much as you do. Um, rewrites are really important. Edits are really important. And now I will stop talking because she is going to read. and Akasha, already a few million years old. There was no sky separating the two, just water, the color of smoke. Just water, the color of smoke and twilight. Water that flowed from earth to sky and back. The stars floated in the ocean, shimmery sea creatures of light and ice. Then the old gods created the sun and the moon, and they created the sky, colorless and vast, so they could live in it and the ocean was sent to earth, but leaving a part of it still in Akasha, now known as the old sea. But the stars fell in love with the sky and wanted to stay there. 
So for many eons, the sun, moon, and the stars lived in the sky, not knowing day, night, or sly twilight. The sun and the moon fell in love, and their ardor created sky storms all around. Their passion was so strong that sparks flew bright as the sun, ethereal as the moon. These were the Gandharvas, children of the skies, born of passion. Can she do my audio book, please? saw me through the process will know this answer. I'm I'm very whiny when I write. Like I'm unbearable. We know, we know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, you know, I think the biggest distraction is the internet and all those cat pictures out there. Seriously. Okay? Uh, you have to switch off the internet. And the, and the other part is when you're a writer, nobody actually believes 
that you are writing. Oh, she is just writing a book. She doesn't have a real job. She can come out for lunch with me. She can watch this movie with me. So it's really difficult to tell people no. And this is my writing time. It's my job. I'm, you know, I'm my own boss. I can't give myself permission to step out at 3 p.m. to have wine with you or coffee with you because I have to actually finish this job of writing. It's really difficult, but you have to protect your writing time and. Um, being disciplined, yeah, it comes. It comes. But you once once you realize you're not making the progress that you should be making, well, it'll come naturally. To be honest, and I think every writer has a different uh, process with discipline. Some people are very good. Some people are erratic, like me. But you get the job done at the end of the day, hopefully. That's.